I uh, went to school at an all-girls convent school and the nuns are reputed to encourage girls and empower them to do anything in the world. But I think uh, I went a bit beyond what they were expecting in, because I had an enormous love for science and mathematics and I really wanted to do more. Uh, for a while they let me be and I continued to study advanced mathematics uh, uh, with my father at home and through a correspondence course. And this is advanced mathematics involving calculus, trigonometry, and so on. But after a while, they began to worry that they didn't have a teacher for me and uh, perhaps I you know, wasn't doing that well. So they sent me off to the boys' school nearby to do a test, uh, which caused a bit of sensation among all the kids, as you can imagine. But I did very well with the test, so they decided to let me be, and I did do the school certificate with those subjects. And I did very well and was the ducks of the school, so I stood first uh, in the school certificate examination. So all that worked out quite well. <laughs> when I decided to study engineering, no one told me that girls don't do engineering. Uh, so I had no idea, really, that I, there were so few women in this field. It turned out I was only the second woman to graduate in chemical engineering from IIT Bombay. And uh, the year that I joined, there were six women studying the Bachelor of Engineering, which was a huge number at the time. Before that, there'd been one or none each year. Um, it was a huge culture shock as well. There were about 20 women in the women's hostel, and there were nine uh, men's hostels, about 2,000 uh, male students, so the ratio was uh, really skewed. But also culturally it was very different. Uh, the, most of the girls didn't speak English as a first language. They came from all parts of India. The food was vegetarian, which I wasn't used to, and I saw vegetables I'd never seen in my life. And it was almost like going to a different country. Uh, I was very westernized and outgoing. I rode a bike, which was something unheard of, apparently. <laughs> uh, but for me, that was the obvious thing because the campus was very large and it took a long time to go to classes. So, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, it, it was a huge change, but also it provided an opportunity for me to learn and to grow and also gave me my first leadership opportunities. So I went from a very shy young woman to someone who started to stand up and speak out. And you could say I found my voice there in those early years. I think in the public sector, you have a huge opportunity to make change that impacts on society more broadly. Uh, the public sector is actually is everybody, whereas the private sector is just the private interest of a particular organization. So there's opportunity for far greater impact long term. And I, I think this is very empowering. And uh, the, the opportunity to make a difference is something that I, in fact, uh, think is quite important. Yeah, I think in terms of leadership, uh, I like to focus on the outcomes. I think uh, uh, the positions that you have are transient. It's not about you per se. And so it's, it's important to have a vision, to drive that vision, to set the compass for the organization, to grow leaders behind you and then walk away. Uh, and it, the satisfaction that you get is from the outcomes uh, that you've created. Uh, and uh, I think that's, that's empowering. What I would say to young girls is, have a go. Uh, I think not enough women step up uh, to have a go. They're often uncertain. Uh, they often need a push. Uh, whereas men uh, will go for a position if they are 70% sure that they'll do the job. Women tend to be 120% sure before they'll go for it. Uh, I found that where I've taken a risk and gone for a position where I've not been 100% sure, I've actually found it's worked out very well, and in fact has been tremendously easy. Uh, I've actually said to people, no one told me it was this easy. You know? <laughs> so uh, I think that uh, we really need to encourage girls to do more. Uh, and the networks women have can help women uh, understand their potential, uh, have the confidence to step up, 
and also to seek advice if they want. It's not, it doesn't have to be lonely at the top. You, you can rely on your friends and your networks. Mm -hmm.